What's up ladies and gents, I'm back and uh, it's been a while but this is going to be my return. Um, so in this video I'm just going to explain a very simple um, tip or technique you can use to either fall asleep faster for one uh, or have more lucid dreams, uh, you know, better sleep, that sort of thing. So when when you go to sleep, when you try and uh, you know go into a sleeping state, what happens is your body will try and relax you in stages. It won't just happen instantly unless you're super tired and you you know you have a sleep doubt or something like that. So, in in an average day or night, your body will try and um, take you sort of down a staircase of relaxation, if that makes sense. So, you'll start you know you'll you'll get into bed and then you'll get slightly more relaxed and slightly more and, until you're actually asleep. It doesn't happen instantly. And so when your body is deciding what step you're on, when it's deciding how, how um, relaxed you are, um, it uses a few things and a few signals to determine how tired you are. Now stick with, stick with me for this, I appreciate this is a bit uh, in-depth and a bit involved compared to some of my other videos. Um, but when you learn this, you'll really have a better understanding of, of how you fall asleep and how to instantly fall asleep if you have trouble, you know, if you, if you have uh, insomnia or if you have difficulty with actually getting to sleep this will really help you so like i said your body falls asleep in stages and it uses certain signals to tell it when to uh, do certain things now one of the most key uh, things that you'll notice when you fall asleep or that you won't notice actually is you'll enter sleep paralysis at some point now some of you will be aware of this some of you won't uh, it depends on how you know it depends on you as a person um if you are not aware of it don't worry if you are aware of it it can be a bit scary but it's nothing to worry about so um, when basically sleep paralysis is your body's way of paralyzing your muscles uh, so that you don't act out your dreams when you're asleep so that you don't start kicking if you're dreaming about running for example uh, it's a very natural thing and it happens to everyone and sleep paralysis is nothing to be worried about nothing you should try and avoid because it's natural right it actually stops you from hurting yourself when you're asleep now when your body or your mind is deciding when to put you into sleep paralysis it uses what's known as the rollover signal now the rollover signal is your body's way of testing whether your your mind is awake or you're still or you're asleep okay now in a normal natural human being you wouldn't actually be aware of sleep paralysis because your body would send the rollover signal to your brain if you roll over I'll explain this in a minute more in more depth, but if you roll over, then your body would keep you awake and it would not put you into sleep paralysis until you ignored the rollover signal because your mind was asleep. Now, what I mean by that is there's normally a bit of overlap. Normally, you'll get this strong urge to roll over or to change your position in the bed, to roll over to your other side or to cross your legs or whatever. Um, this is known as a rollover signal. When you get that urge, that that feeling that you need to move, that's your mind, your body, sorry, telling your mind, um, it's asking your mind a question, it's saying, are you still awake? If you respond to that signal, okay, if you actually turn over when you have the urge to turn over, you won't fall asleep. And and so it's very important to, especially if you have trouble falling asleep, if you're an insomniac or whatever, uh, you need to make sure that you ignore that rollover signal or that urge to move your position, okay? Um, now what's going to happen here is if you ignore the urge, you will experience sleep paralysis. You will notice it happening and you'll feel like a heavy blanket being pressed against your body and it rolled over you. Um, this is normal. This is nothing to be scared about, even though it can be a bit disconcerting at times. Um, but basically that's it. So let me start right from the beginning just to summarize a bit here. So when you go to sleep, when you try and fall asleep, um, you normally would lay there for say 20 minutes and try and relax okay then after a certain amount of time um, you would get the urge to roll over if you stay still long enough in a certain position you will get the urge to roll over at some point now when you get that urge ignore it don't move at all okay don't even move your arms your legs don't even do anything like that as long as you can breathe properly and you're not you know dribbling or, or um, finding it hard to breathe then just don't move don't move at all uh, and what's going to happen is your mind or your body is going to think, oh, okay, he's ignored the rollover signal. He must be asleep. Therefore, let's start sleep paralysis. And what's hap what will happen then is you will enter the sleep paralysis state where you'll feel like you can't move. You might feel like there's something pressing against you. You might feel like um, 
you know your your weightless you know this the experience can have have many different uh, it can it can be experienced in many different ways but the point is that once you get to sleep paralysis you're basically asleep you're going to fall asleep either very soon or you already are asleep and what this means is you can enter a lucid dream directly so normally you would experience sleep paralysis only for a moment and then you'd fall asleep completely what you need to do is at this point so if you want a lucid dream when you get to sleep paralysis stage keep your mind awake by like fo by focusing on the dream you want to have okay so when you feel like you can't move but you're still panicking inside your head thinking oh shit i can't move what am i going to do um, when you get to that stage you can go one of two ways you can either ignore it relax and try and just fall asleep normally okay or you can keep your mind awake and have a lucid dream so it's up to you it's completely up to you you can use this to either fall asleep faster okay by ignoring the rollover signal sleep paralysis sleep or you can use it to have a lucid dream ignore the rollover signal sleep paralysis lucid dream it really depends on what you want to do so I hope this has been helpful, um, and if you have any ideas, any suggestions, please leave a comment. I'll try and reply to everyone, and I'll see you next time.